Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today I'm here in the mid-Jurassic to talk about a very important dinosaur. Quite possibly the most important dinosaur in this entire series. Ladies and gentlemen, Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus just means big lizard, and is a member of the Megalosaur family. It was a carnivore that lived during the mid-Jurassic in England. Megalosaurus was around 30 feet long, and while that might not sound impressive considering the other theropods you've looked at, it was still a big animal. Now, the reason Megalosaurus is so important is because it was the very first dinosaur to be scientifically named. Before Megalosaurus's discovery, dinosaur fossils were these weird, confusing things that no one really understood. In fact, it's often believed that the idea of dragons was based on ancient discoveries of these bones. But then, in 1824, Megalosaurus was given its name by paleontologist William Buckland, who also wrote the first description of the animal. Then, 20 years later in 1842, Sir Richard Owen took Megalosaurus as well as Iguanodon and Hyliosaurus and assigned them to a new group of animals he called dinosaurs, meaning terrible lizards. When Megalosaurus was first discovered, it was thought to have been a giant lizard, hence its name. Then in the 1870s, the discovery of more theropods led to paleontologists realizing that these animals were actually bipedal. However, because the only bipedal-tailed animal they had a reference to at the time were kangaroos, all theropods were given a kangaroo-like stance, and this image lasted quite a while with nearly every resource portraying dinosaurs as slow, lumbering animals that dragged their tails along the ground. But then, as I said before, the discovery of the obviously active Dinonychus, as well as people realizing that dinosaurs would have broken their hips if they stood upright like this, led to the dinosaur renaissance of the 1970s, which caused the reconstruction of basically every single dinosaur into more agile bird-like predators. Or herbivores, since it did include both groups. Megalosaurus also had the unfortunate distinction of being a wastebasket taxon, which means that for a while, if scientists couldn't figure out what a new dinosaur was, they would just classify it as a species of megalosaur. Although thankfully, this practice was eventually stopped and all the dinosaurs got reassigned, leaving only one definitive species of megalosaurus. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. You know, there's just something off about this card. I really can't tell what it is. I don't see anything really wrong with it. It just, it just feels wrong. Like, it feels like this card's inaccurate, but I can't put my finger on it. But anyway, this card isn't, isn't, isn't bad at all. Uh, just like this video, it spends more time talking about Megalosaurus's significance in terms of paleontology than it does actually talking about the animal itself, so that's admirable. But again, I just can't help but feel like there's something wrong with it here. Because of that, I'm going to play it safe and give it an 8 out of 10, because I really don't want to give something a 10 out of 10 unless I'm fully confident in it. Now, you'd think that as the first ever dinosaur discovered, that Megalosaurus would appear a lot more in pop culture. You would be wrong, because Megalosaurus is at best a C-tier dinosaur when it comes to pop culture. But Megalosaurus almost never gets its time in the spotlight, which is unfortunate. Megalosaurus appears in Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, and Jurassic World The Game. Megalosaurus was on Dinosaur Train. The main character of the puppet show Dinosaurs is a Megalosaurus. And finally, a Megalosaurus appears in the video game Ark Survival Evolved as a Tameable Animal, where humorously enough, it's one of the only theropods they gave feathers to, despite Megalosaurus not having any evidence of feathers in real life. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the whale that was mistaken to be a lizard. Bye!